trying to be back? How are our boys doing? Our boys are doing a great job. On our trip overseas, my wife and I saw thousands of American boys in Africa and Italy, and you can be awfully proud of them. We did the best we could to entertain them. But there's an organization that's looking after them in every theater of the war. That's the American Red Cross. Wherever the armed forces go, there too goes the Red Cross. When our pilots and bombardiers and navigators come back from a mission over Germany, there's a Red Cross clubmobile waiting on the field, ready with coffee and donuts, ready with friendliness. When there have been so many of these missions that the men of the plane crews must have a rest, they go to a Red Cross rest club. A man who's worried by bad news from home or, or no news loses his efficiency. The Red Cross field director is the link between that man and his family. Is his illness or other worries at home, not enough money to meet the emergency, the Red Cross helps out. Whenever our men get leave in combat areas, the Red Cross is on hand. They establish homes away from home with clean beds and American food, reading rooms and recreation facilities. Get news from home through the Red Cross field director. You can read the hometown paper, shoot some pool, play some ping pong, dance with an American girl, pile a tray with food that's not GI that's much different from K-ration. In Melbourne, Australia, every Sunday morning, the Red Cross serves 3,000 plates of ham and eggs. The Army and Navy Nurses Corps are recruited by the Red Cross. The Red Cross trains the nurses' aides who release graduate nurses for war duty. The special recreation program in hospitals teaches the men new skills, helping take their minds off their pain, their disablement. When an American is taken prisoner, the Red Cross never stops trying to get them food and mail. Blood plasma, that gift of our blood to our men and administered by the medical corps, is collected by Red Cross blood banks. A blood donor gives a pint of blood at one time. Frequently, wounded men need several quarts of precious plasma to restore life. When one of our men is wounded, surgical dressings for his wounds are supplied by Red Cross. Those bandages and swabs and compresses that American women are rolling and folding all over this country reach the wounded through the indispensable Army and Navy Medical Corps. All this and much more the American Red Cross is doing for our men at home and abroad. 1944 is the invasion year. That means more blood plasma, more bandages for our wounded, more aid and comfort for our prisoners of war, more aid to our fighters and their families. Your generous gift is needed to carry on this work. 90 cents out of every dollar will go to the service of the men and women of our armed forces. The Red Cross is at their side, and the Red Cross is you. Regardless of whether you've already given, remember the need is greater than ever. Make a generous donation in this theater now.